More notes that you can purchase early on where the price is still pretty low. This one is called Galaxis. The sale is happening right now. They went live about three to four days ago and there will be 50,000 notes that can be sold with almost 2,000 already. The price is $777. So in the cheap to medium range for note prices compared to Maria note of like $6,000, this is pretty cheap. And we are still in the early stages. Now you might even know this project because they've been around for about four years under a different name. They recently changed and rebranded to Galaxis, but before that, they used to be called EtherCards. So the exact same team behind it on EtherCards that worked with, I think back then it was Lamella Ball, the basketball player, and a different person, and someone else. I at least know at the peak of Last Ball Run, I covered this I think once or twice. They worked with Chainlink, with Brave, and a couple others, and if you go to their Twitter, it even tells you, now rebranded to Galaxis, which is over here. What they do is they give you a digital toolkit as a no-code, out-of-the-box architecture for creating decentralized communities. Lots of fancy words, what is it and how much money can we make? I bought one single note a couple hours ago. The token isn't live yet, so we have no idea how much we actually make, but there are 1.6 million tokens every single day over here, plus an additional 1.2 million, depending on how active you are or what type of NFT you have. They have a wiki that we read about in a second. But if we only get 1.6 million tokens every single day, divided by that amount, we would get about 800 something tokens, quick maths. So right now you would get 840 tokens that you can already accumulate before the token gets listed. In the Discord that I checked a couple minutes ago, and over here when somebody asked about the listing price, they mentioned that the founder Andres and the team behind it is not just KYC, but also was the first one to bring Bitcoin ATMs to Asia. And nearby, because I'm in Asia, I've seen the Bitcoin ATM, it works. And moderator mentioned a few minutes ago for me that exchanges are to be announced, but we're in the talks with the tier one exchange slash partners at the moment. Tier one means Binance, probably not, maybe KuCoin, Gate.io, one of the bigger ones. Now let's just pretend this would be exactly like Sonoris. They generated far less tokens later on when more nodes were sold, but it went from like 1,000 nodes sold to 3,000 to 5,000 to 7,000 fairly quickly. It launched at around 5 cents per token. So if we have 840 tokens every single day times 5 cents, that would mean about $42 every single day. So technically, if it would be 5 cents for the launch price, you would already generate $42 a day so the break-even point is less than three weeks. Maybe it launches at eight cents or 12 or $2. I have no idea. Just with a hypothetical scenario of similar price note, it could be about $40 a day right now. If you want to buy a note, I will show it to you right here. You need to be connected on the Polygon network. So basically no gas fees. When it costs $777, it's exactly that price plus like five cents in gas fees maximum. And you need to enter a referral code. I will leave this one down below. Otherwise type in KFQZ2M. I learned about this one first because Mr. Triple D, DeFi dude, messaged me on Telegram about that. And then a few hours later, another of you messaged me about this. So that was highly appreciated. Thank you. I will leave a link down below as well so you can check out the channel but now let's focus on what is this right we have money we want to give it to them so we make money what do we have you can create your own decentralized community with physical redeemable traits digital redeemable traits bunch of different traits basically let me explain you the concept of ether cards on what this one used to be and how smart they were when it came to nfts nfts sucked hard almost all nfts we've seen were stupid monkey pictures that have no utility they actually used utility what they had, and I think you can still see it in the cards that are listed, they had up to like 16 different layers, kind of like an onion, you know how Shrek explains that, or like a cake, multiple different layers. Off that card, so you can click on this, you can see the different attributes the NFT has to it. It is something that can develop over time, so you can add traits to the NFT, which was so smart, because that's the whole point of having something digital that it can be edited over time, right? If I buy like a concert ticket in real life, my ticket doesn't change, it's a piece of paper, but a digital one could update and they had the technology to update that. So the idea and the execution was great. And then they also had, based on the traits you have on your card, kind of like roads you have in your account in Discord, you would get dust or tokens, which can then be redeemed for, let's say ETH, let's say for access or for voting rights, you get a 5% discount, for example, you get the punk battle ticket. So the NFTs you had could be upgradable, which was so smart. So in a sea of garbage back then, this was gold. And now they rebranded to Galaxis, but they still have the exact same technology and better and developed through a bear market that they stick through with a whole lot more. They already worked with, I think we can see it on the main page if we go down. They worked with Steve Aoki, they worked with the NBA, with Mike Tyson. 
and a bunch of different players in there. Also, the founder, Andras, mentioned somewhere here, he already had a $200 million exit, and that is important for, okay, pretty much infinite reasons, but the main reasons is, number one, he doesn't need the money, so he can actually develop something that is high quality. He is rich already. And number two, if you sell something for 200 mil, you probably know what you're doing. The entire team is docs behind it as well, with lots and lots of different people working on this. And if we believe notes are good, plus high quality project, plus proven track record, then we get three green flags right there. Now more to the engines. So we gave him money, we bought this, what do we get? They have this pretty picture over here on how it works, as in... There are rewards, there are communities, we can see arrows that point towards each other, and then and basically people use it, NFTs collections are made, they have a rewards pool as well as bonuses, you get tokens, you get money. Those daily rewards are from a pool of 24% of the entire supply. Then they also got dynamic staking pools, I would assume that we can probably immediately stake the tokens we already generated, which is an option, but from other node projects I've seen so far, like let's say Delizium for example, or Sonorous and similar ones, do you really want to stake it? Not really. I want to take my initial money out first, so I break even, and then generate some profit, and then I can stake. Obviously you can stake immediately, do whatever you like, but that is an option here as well. It also says that you demonstrate your support and commitment to the Galaxus ecosystem, which might mean, mixed with the quests in here and challenges for the users, that you can stay active within the community to earn rewards. Which I would assume, if we go back to the main page for the engine, that is the bonus pool they mentioned over here of 1.2 mil every single day. If we have our 5 cent hypothetical token price and we add this on top, you would get an extra like 20-30 a day, if it's the exact same distribution as this. And then most people are not going to be active, so your percentage in here is probably going to be higher. The price stays at $777, then it goes to $1,000, and then it goes up by $10 each for every 200 sold. Also, halving mechanism in place. So in the first year, we still get that. After three years, we only get half, and after five years, we get a quarter of the original amount. And then it shows you how to buy it, but I think you know how to connect your wallet and click accept. Your rewards can also be claimed after the TGE. TGE stands for Token Generative Event, as in... The Galaxy token doesn't exist yet, right? We can't buy it, sell it, it's not listed anywhere. Once this one exists, then we can claim it. Which means if anybody out there tells you, hey, here's a link, claim your tokens, probably a scam. And if you simply search for the word bonus on this page, it doesn't exist. Maybe it's in the FAQ, it isn't. So what the exact distribution is going to be for the bonus tokens, we'll find out. From my three something years in crypto, I have to say I came across a whole bunch of garbage. Let's be honest here, most things are really trash. But this was one of the few projects back then that I came across where I thought actual smart people know what they're doing, have a vision, put this into action and create something that has value with a great idea behind it. Obviously not financial advice, duh, but I put my money where my mouth is, I like this a lot and I'm pretty sure in like a day or two when another stupid meme coin I bought hopefully goes up, I'll buy a couple more of these. Because at 777, it's a pretty affordable price. If you're new to crypto, it sounds like a lot because it's more than a PlayStation, but in the Node ecosystem, getting a Node for less than a thousand is cheap. That being said, link down below. Keep in mind, the earlier you get in, the more tokens you get, the higher the potential reward. Let's see how it goes. And until then, take care.